is a John Wick 5 coming, the chairman of Lionsgate expresses after John Wick, Chapter 4 opened in theaters, the Keanu Reeves-led franchise formally became a billion-dollar blockbuster and solidified its legacy in movie history. Given that both director Chad Stahelski and star Keanu Reeves had expressed a desire to wrap up the trilogy, many people went into the movie with the understanding that it would be the last one to be released. To the delight of fans everywhere, Lionsgate chose to start work on a fifth sequel, propelled by the fourth movie's tremendous box office success. Regretfully, the Writers Guild of America and Screen Actors Guild American Federation Strikes presented an unanticipated challenge to the development process of television and radio artists, so temporarily ending the highly anticipated John Wick series. Now that both attacks are firmly in the past, the production company has gone back to work on John Wick 5. During a recent quarterly earnings call, Lionsgate chairman Joe Drake revealed that the film's scripting, which had stopped due to the WGA strike, is now underway again. Drake revealed that other John Wick films are still in development. These will be spin-offs similar to the recently released The Continental and The Impending Ballerina. On the Wick side, we got multiple spin-offs and Wick 5, he stated. We resumed work on it immediately upon the beginning of the writer's strike. As soon as it ended, to go to work. If Stahelski is to be believed, John Wick V of may not necessarily feature the titular character. The former stuntman turned filmmaker stated in an interview conducted last month that he has a ton of ideas for further John Wick movies. However, there is no guarantee that the character will make a reappearance in those episodes. We find it impossible to believe that Reeves's Wick will miss any main series installment, even in spite of Stahelski's statements. Already, Lionsgate is making an effort to grow the franchise and make it continue with new characters. Therefore, they are free to create one of those spin-offs if they wish to convey tales that don't revolve upon Wick. This is the reason why we think the title character will appear in every main series movie in one way or another. Then again, there's the major annoyance of his purported death at the conclusion of the fourth installment. With the exception of Wizards with Wands, how will Stahelski and Lionsgate explain the reappearance of a character who was thought to be dead? It might not be as difficult as it seems to answer. First of all, no one witnessed John Wick die in real life. The conclusion of John Wick, Chapter 4 merely hinted at his passing by showing fans a grave and a tombstone with his name. However, considering how many enemies he had, it is not absurd to believe that his death was a hoax designed to allow him to live out the remainder of his days in peace and quiet.